Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So if you guys watched my video uploaded yesterday, we found a very temporal fix for the G923 steering wheel controller. So you can actually play this in fours or five. But as of today, we have found a brand new fix, a way better one, which actually now not just allows you to control the game using your steering wheel and pedals and clutch systems, but also now have force feedback, which was the biggest thing for me because it's fun playing a driving game, but with no force feedback, it just doesn't feel right in any shape or form. So this is for Forza Horizon 5. This actually is a fix that was actually originally designed for Forza Horizon 4 and probably some older models as well. So what you actually need to do is very simple, but this one you will need to download a few bits of software. Um, if you go on to, let me get the link for you. Um, I'll put the two links in the description. The first one we need to get is known as the Forza Emu Wheel, which I will put the first link. And the second one is VJoy. So both of these systems will allow you to actually emulate a new controller on top of the actual controller. So as of this controller doesn't work, we can emulate a working controller and use that as a better control with force feedback support and everything like that as well. So go on the first one, click on the download link here. Um, and also in download VJoy. And once you've got VJoy, there is a little guide on the Falls website that shows you what to do, but I'll show you that guys, show you guys what you need to do really quickly. So once you've just downloaded and installed them, you should be good to go. There is a disclaimer that if you have an issue when installing VJoy and it doesn't, it doesn't finish um, the setup at hundred percent, just use task manager and close it. Apparently it's still installed. It's just weird bug in VJoy right now. But so if I go to my VJoy real quickly, I'm going to click on configure with VJoy. It's on the bottom left of my screen. Hope you guys can see what, cause I know I'm in the way. It pops up like this. Just make sure it's exactly the same as mine is. So I think the start button, number button starts off as eight. Let's make it eight. Make the V a POV hat switch to be four directional as well. And make sure POV is set to one. Click apply and then you can close it. It's as simple as that. Once that's done, uh, go into your other folder. So I'll just quickly go into it here. Um, the falls are Emmy well. Quick, there you go. Forge your emulator uh, and click on configure. Okay, this is going to pop up with this system. This is a system I don't know if it's actually developed by Forza, but it's developed for Forza. So you want to click on set, you want to move your steering wheel, and it automatically will pick up X. Um, you leave combined as it is for throttle, step on the throttle. Um, it's really bad, that's fine because that's as I was moving my steering wheel. Click on set, it is my throttle that's picked up that. My brake picks up that. My clutch picks up that. I don't sadly have a handbrake or love one, but I don't have a handbrake. D pad, just move any D pad button. They pick up the D pad. And then on the, the buttons bit, click set. Click on the down list and just go through the list. Um, some stuff you may have, some stuff you won't have. Even if you do not have it, just make sure you've used every button on your keyboard. So, what am I meaning by that is like this we got A here, so I'm pressing A. So you click next one, we've got B, so I'm pressing B. Going through the next one, we've got X, X, Y with Y. Okay, when it comes to now gear up and gear down, because I'm using um, the, the racing paddles here, not an actual gear change. If I had a gear changer, I could just do that with the forward gear system here. Whereas I don't have one, I'm just gonna use the previous and next gear. So next gear will be this one. Then we've got previous gear, which is this one. And with the other buttons, just use any random one from the list. So we've got number seven here. So I'm gonna use that as LB, L LSB, which is the left bumper button. Um, we're gonna use number eight for the right bumper button. Um, we're gonna use, oh, cancel that one. If I've got Xbox menu button and you've got Xbox view, so Xbox menu, I'm going to press the menu button. Xbox view, I'm going to use the share button. Does that one go through Xbox menu? Yep. So it's view. It's no Xbox menu, is there? It's fine. Let's keep going. Um, if there's any other buttons I'm going to use, that's pretty much everything. I don't think we can use anything else really. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so now that's done. So we've got all the, the AX um, the main buttons. We've got the D-pad down over here. Um, we've got gear up and gear down, which I'm going to be using. 
We've got a couple extra buttons and we've got the experts view button. So what I'm going to do is this. Now that that's done, I'm going to click save configuration. Okay. Once you've done that, you can then close it. And you, there's another bit of software called hush. Is that on my screen as well? Oh, let's close that. Click on hush. What this actually does is this actually turns off the support for the steering wheel directly into the Forza Horizon 5. So by turning on hush and turning it on mute, it turns off the steering wheel. It goes to every steering wheel it can find and it just turns it off temporarily. It'll still work in your systems. It just means that Forza won't detect it, which is what we want it to do. So it stops the pop-up, it stops the force feedback turning off, it stops every all the issues we're having. We just don't want Forza to see the steering wheel. So now that we've done that, we're gonna click on Forza Emic Wheel. And you see here, it picks up the game controller, which is my Logitech G923 racing wheel for Xbox One and PC. And I'm just gonna click start. So now that it's running, my force feedback has now completely turned off. I don't know if you can see it by my steering wheel. If I can go to like a slightly bigger screen. Okay, you can see that there's no force feedback at all now. If I was to stop the program, okay, close it. Force feedback's back on. Okay, this is now using the very default steering of force feedback. But if I was to now go back into the same Forza Emic well, it's completely turned off exactly as you want it to be. Because now it's going to be handled from the actual game itself. So I'm going to click start. So now it ported it to a second virtual controller for steering. And now we just have to load up Forza. So let's just turn it on. I'm very glad we found this fix because it's a big, big thing for the Forza community. We've all been wanting to uh, do drifting races with actual force feedback on these lovely vaults, especially with the true force system as well. And yes, it was nice having the steering wheel guys, but not being able to actually have force feedback was so important for us. It was important for me as well. So let's wait for this to finish. The only disclaimer you're gonna have is with the menu stuff, I don't think it will work directly with the wheel. It only works with the internal stuff, so actually in the physical game will work with the wheel. I've not found a way yet to fix the hard movement, but there might be a way in here. So if you see, I press up and left and right, it doesn't do anything. But what you can do is click X for assistability. Go to controls, change mapping, go to wheel, go to the custom wheel profile, any of them will do. In fact, let's just use number two so I can show you for fresh. I click on accelerate, I use my acceleration. It picks up. Same thing for brake. I basically just want to go through it all. So I got my brake, my steering wheel. It's picked up the axis as well. My emergency brake, which is A on here, which I hate. <laughs> We've got Anna, that's D pad up. Activation, I'll just use this key here, which is like the, the share button. Radio next is right on the D-pad. Rewind is Y. Switch camera is right. Um, SB, which is the right. I can't remember what SB is. Oh, I think I pressed the button in. Um, Forza link is left on the D-pad. Pause is the normal start button. Shift up. Right trigger. Turn right bumper bumper. Right bumper bumper. Right bumper button, <laughs> sorry, left bumper button for shift down. And everything else is just if you need it. So my kids, I have a clutch, I put it on. Don't care about toggling convertible, don't care about looking around. The map is fine. Most of this I'm gonna handle from the actual system. I don't have a gear changer, so I won't need any of that. And OTTS keyboard. So now that's done, save it, enter, come out, come out. Like I said, I can't use the D-pads to move around here, which is a bit annoying, I must say. But force feedback is now officially activated and I'll show you now in the game. So it's gonna let load up. Um, if this guy does help you guys, please, please mass share this because the whole of Steam support when it comes to the uh, this um this steering wheel, the the Logitech G923, as well as a lot of Thrustmaster steering wheels are just not working. And I do believe this is a temporal solution to the dev the devs actually fix it. I'm hoping to fix it soon. I don't know. We don't know. It could happen on official standard release day. I don't know. It could happen next year. I, honestly, we there's no ETA on anything. We don't even know when there's a priority for the steering wheel to be fixed. 
some people are even saying on on some forums that steering wheels are not even a must. It's more designed for controllers. I don't know. But for me, you gotta drive, you know, you gotta drive a steering wheel. Let's just you know, I need to get my gear changes, I need to get my handbrakes. All that stuff is coming soon, hopefully, to the channel. But I just thought this fix. Now that I found this fix, I don't know if anybody really knows about this fix. So I had to had to get it out for you guys. So we're just gonna wait for this to jump us in. Here we go. So like I said, none of the buttons would do anything in here because that will port it for the actual gameplay. So we use the steering wheel, we use the actual um, keyboard. Come out with your own i8 BMW. I had to meet the radio off. So as you can see, right now, I'm just driving. You know, I'm in on gear. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deliberately drive off course and not touch my steering wheel. The steering wheel is going crazy. I'll show you. That's the full speed back turn. It is working. It is definitely working. And of course, as you guys can imagine, you can go into settings and improve the force, how much force feedback it does. Or reduce it. There's a lot of guys right now with loads of different force feedback settings and control settings to make the game way better for you. But this is a fix, guys. We can now basically play like normal. All oh, my gear changes are working. Handbrake was working if I had a handbrake. I can drive just like normal now. I've got to max speed. It feels great. Like, I'm actually getting stopped now. Oh, I, I change gears way too fast. But I hope this guide has helped you guys because it's going to help me out. I'm going to go do a live stream now to my lovely community, knowing that we have a fix and that we can actually play this properly. It's great. It's wonderful. Do some drifting now. Brakes working fine. Yeah. And off the wheel. It's going to do whatever it wants. Eventually. <laughs> But as I was saying, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope this video has worked you. If the guy did help you, please drop a like. Share with your friends. Everyone's playing Forza right now. It's the biggest game in the world right now. Way better than Call of Duty in our lock code. But this is a doing its own. I'm not even doing this. It's going to be sick. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Stay awesome, people.